Did you know that Case and Huff and Schleter has been servicing customers in the tri-state area for nearly 100 years? As an independent insurance agency, they have the flexibility to find the right value for your business, farm, and personal insurance needs. Case and Huff and Schleter is a locally owned agency. Their agents and support team are ready to help. Give them a call or find them on Facebook. Case and Huff and Schleter, proud sponsor of the Muddy River News Business Spotlight. Welcome to the Muddy River News Business Spotlight, brought to you by Case Nuff and Schleter Insurance. I'm Bob Goff, and my guest today is Rich Neiman Jr., and we're going to talk about a Quincy institution in Neiman Foods. Welcome. Well, thank you. Just it's great to be here. It's it's great to have you. And uh, you know, the first thing I accosted you as soon as you came in because I didn't. I, I wanted a, hay, a haymakers close to my house. I think those are some are some great convenience stores, nice, clean, and I think I think you guys, when you rebranded from County Market Express to that, I just think that was a really good move. Well, our, our team uh, designing that and building that concept uh, just did a wonderful job. I couldn't be more proud of them. You know, we're, we are uh, just happy to be able to provide an environment. We always test uh, that concept against, we want uh, moms with kids to feel comfortable um, going into the bathrooms and, you know, Restrooms are so important in those stores, yeah. and that's not the whole thing, but that's so critically important. And that particular concept, the first one was here in Quincy, and, and that has evolved. We've done a number of those since, uh, I, I believe we're at uh, eight or nine of those now. And uh, we have uh, an outside cooking experience that we do with the newer stores and some different things that we've added. But we feel that it's a, a lot more about food uh, than it is about uh, um, uh, anything else. So we've got to provide an environment where people are comfortable um, uh, eating our food there. And we, we cook out, as, as most folks know, on usually Tuesdays and Fridays, and sometimes we're doing shish kebabs and we do salmon on the grill and all kinds of things that you normally wouldn't expect. So we're very happy with that concept and, we're, and we are growing that concept. Your West Quincy store also has the best livers and gizzards around. Oh, by the way. and I love those too. <laughs> the good. Uh, yeah, I love those. I, you can't. I, you just can't eat them that off. That's my thing. Yeah, is I have to like make sure. Okay, this I, this yeah. one time I have them for the month or whatever. I yeah. Get, but oh, they're so good. Yeah, it's so. a treat. It's a treat once in a while. You don't want to do it every day. That, that's very true. So, but uh, so so like you said, the first one was here. So haymakers, you've got how many across the Midwest now? Nine of those stores. Okay. Yeah, and, and we are expanding those, um, not maybe as rapidly as some other concepts we're doing. We've got a lot of different things going on, actually. It's pretty exciting what's happening here, and I think uh, most people uh, locally here may not understand kind of how we are and who we are and what we do, but we're, uh, with all different types of concepts, we operate, uh, gosh, 107 stores now, different concepts in five states, and uh, uh, in 2024, we will be in six states. We have some plans wow. for, for that. So uh, a lot of things going on, and, and I'm just so proud of our team. Uh, I don't know if you know or not, but we are an ESOP company. We're an employee stock ownership plan company, and this all started about... 25 years or so ago, uh, our family was two-thirds of the business, and my uncle was a third, and we bought them out of that. Uh, we bought those folks out of the business, and we took that one-third value of the company, and we put that into ESOP stock, and then we've been gifting that to our associates ever since. And we have roughly 6,000 associates and probably 2,500 owners now. Oh. And uh, the way that our folks get stock, you can't buy it, but we, we gift it to them. And so every year, uh, the board decides what percentage of everyone's, uh, whatever your compensation was for the year, what percentage is going to be gifted. And then we do about half in cash and half in stock. And that's how our folks get ownership. And that has been the best thing that we've ever done because as we're so spread out, um, and, and there's always uh, ownership in every store that we operate every, every, every day part. So that's what makes it work for us. I'm very proud of our team. Well, and that has to give your, your employees a sense of pride as being a part of as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's very important for everybody's retirement, you know, what happens with their stock and and uh, so yeah, very important. Uh, we, again, we talked about, uh, we, we talk, we're talking about haymakers, we're going to get on to the other, the other stores and the other brands, but uh, uh, one thing that you mentioned was the, the convenience store game and the difference when you're, you know, you guys are, are Quincy based, you have stores here, you have stores on the Missouri side, but, but, but the gas tax difference, it's 
it's a real thing, right? It, there's it an is. impact. It is. There's no question about it. Uh, it and we, as soon as the the new uh, part of the of the Illinois gas tax, when when the increase was taken, we and everybody else that that sells fuel in the Quincy market saw the traffic go to Missouri. So there's no question if you're operating in a in a location that's close to a border and and uh, whether it's Indiana or Wisconsin or Missouri, there's going to be a flight of dollars uh, and traffic, you know, and gallons to the to the other side where it's and it's considerably cheaper. The Illinois tax is is pretty is pretty high. Yeah, it's uh, it is it's noticeable. That's for sure. So um, let's again talk about some of the other brands. Uh, do you, are you, you still uh, still have Cub Foods? No, there's there are no, no more, more Cub no Foods. More Cub stores. So what have they been converted into? County well, markets? Well, just yeah, either county markets and and we've done some some different things. Um, Harvest Market is a that's very, what I want to talk is, about. Is a very interesting brand that um, we started developing almost nine years ago. And the interesting part about that is uh, without Neiman Ranch Beef and what we do with cattle in Missouri, Harvest Market as a concept never would have happened because my two older boys and I, we started raising cattle about 20 years ago in Missouri. And, and uh, th so we became a, a cattle producer. So as a producer, we understand what it is. And the Harvest Market concept is about connecting people back to the land. Uh, that's our mission in those stores. And uh, it's a very uh, interesting connection that we have to our customers. I've never seen anything like it in, in all in all my years and all in all the different things we've done in retail. But so we connect people back to the land. And one of the easiest ways uh, to uh, uh, to explain the whole concept that I find is I talk about churning butter because we churn butter in those we only have two of these harvest markets open so far with two more that are on the on the boards right now. But so when we churn butter, we have to have a little dairy plant inside each of these stores. And that's that's kind of complicated because you have to meet all the regs and rules that any dairy plant would. But we are the only people that I know of in the in, in United States that churn butter inside a store. But when I talk about churning butter, the most important thing is the Kilgus Family Farm sweet cream that comes into the butter churning process. And then we and then we churn butter, and then we have a byproduct that's buttermilk. Buttermilk goes into our biscuits in the bakery. Those biscuits end up in the farmhouse restaurant. So there's there's this constant circular motion of these products in this store, and that gives you the concept of what this is all about. It's a lot about local, but it's not strictly local because we have relationships that we've developed over the years with, we call them producers and makers. Producers are people that grow things like we grow cattle. Actually, we grow grass, which is, gives us our cattle. <laughs> sure. But uh, so, uh, and then uh, makers are people that change value. So we might have a particular uh, a maker that comes to mind is one of our, uh, it, it, they produce pickles. It's, it's a really good pickle. Well, they don't grow the cucumbers, but they change the value and, and make pickles out of them. And then the producers are people, well, this, this one's growing eggs, and this one's uh, growing wheat, and this one's growing grain that turns into alcohol. So there's all kinds of producers, and we, we uh, uh, build a relationship with these people, and a lot of them are not in the traditional supermarket chain of, of events, so we have to develop all kinds of ways to help them and get their products into our stores. So it's a very complicated deal. But what happens is people come in to Harvest Market, they, they want to be entertained, they want information, they want to spend time, because 150 years ago, 90% uh, or so of the people in the U.S. were involved in agriculture. Today, sure. it's 3 or 4%. Sure. So people want to know. They want to know about what's in their food, what's not in their food. And so this whole concept is, uh, is, is that. We connect people back to the land. It's kind of interesting. The closest one to folks here in Quincy would be in Springfield. Yes. We're out on veterans in Springfield. And uh, uh, but but like if you go over there on Friday or Saturday night, we have live entertainment. We we have an upstairs mezzanine that's ten thousand feet. The store is fifty thousand feet, and uh, so we're doing live entertainment. Uh, you can go in there. You can go back to the seafood department. We butcher uh, fish, whole fish, eight different ways. You pick out how you want to butcher it. We'll cook it for you back there. You grab a bottle of wine. You go upstairs to the bar area. You sit down. Live entertainment. It's just a it's just a, a very interesting thing, and we're very very excited about Harvest Market for for the future. Well, I uh, I've been in that store in Springfield um, a few times, and it's it's a great store. And uh, I'm actually going to be in Springfield this week.
weekend, and I am picking up some uh, some beef to take to a friend's house. So oh, wonderful. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna enjoy that. And uh, again, so where's the other one at then? Uh, the other one is in Champaign. That's right. Okay. And then the next two are are planned for a little bit larger metro areas and not in Illinois. These happen to be. Well, when you put one in Quincy, you're gonna break that news on Muddy River News. Just let right. us know when that's gonna I, happen. I promise. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if we do it here, we will break it here first. All right. Um, the one other brand I, I wanted to talk about is uh, is something else you vent, you you guys ventured into, and that was the the Ace Hardwares. Now, it seems to me that those have gone in. You know, they're, they're side by side with a lot of county markets in some places. Mm -hmm. Some places they're not, mm -hmm. but it really seems that's how you're it, you get back to the neighborhood hardware store concept, and I like the stores because I can get in, I don't get lost, I get in, I get out, your guys there and gals there are knowledgeable. I just, I mean, I will exclusively go there unless it's some monster thing that I have to get somewhere else. But how did you guys get decide to get into the hardware game? Well, we did that uh, a number of years ago. Um, I went out looking at different concepts around and uh, we were looking for, you know, uh, to have additional things because we, we have teams in a lot of places and we have uh, locations and or real estate and so what else can we do and in some kind and sometimes in a in a in a rural area you might need something to kind of add to the mix over time so we wanted other concepts and so we we uh, settled on pet supplies plus which we also do and ace hardware and the ace company that's a co-op um, a very very uh, good company, well run, great private label, uh, the variety is tremendous, but it still comes down to your team in the store. And what we've found is there's a lot of people uh, that love to work in hardware because maybe they've been an electrician, they're retired, but the whole deal with Ace Hardware is to solve a problem. You walk in there and you go, you know what, my toilet's broken, I don't know what it is, what do I do? Yep. And and so our folks um, love to help solve those problems, and uh, it, it's just a it's a really fun, interesting business. And uh, we're up to 17 stores now. We have three more that will open this year. Uh, we've done a lot of a lot of hardware work in Wisconsin. Uh, that, that's been kind of a, a focus area lately. But we love that business, and uh, it's just been uh, been a lot of fun. But and, and there's so much variety there, and. Ace Hardware also has a really good um, uh, uh, way to order online, pick it up at the store, have it delivered to your house. There's a, there's a good model there. It's just it's just a really strong concept. I uh, when I need a new lawnmower, that's where I got my mower. I got a Craftsman mower, and it's self-propelled, and it's great. And the guys put it. I said I don't want to put it together, and I want yeah. you to bring it to me. Done. Yeah. And it's again the service was just was just fantastic. Why? What? what uh, again, without sharing state secrets, why did you? pick that location at 17th and Broadway. I think it's great because if I have to get something I know I need for the weekend and my wife says, hey, we're going to do this honeydew project this weekend, I can swing by there on my way home. So I like, I love the location, but 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 tell me how you settled on, on getting, because you didn't own that property previously, did you? No, no, okay. we did not. But we wanted to be uh, in the rooftops more than out on the on the perimeter. The big box hardware is, is all, right. is, is fairly inconvenient. So we wanted to be kind of in the, in the middle of it there. And we do a, a pretty good contractor business uh, in Ace as well, so it's pretty convenient because uh, you know if, if if you're doing it uh, if you if it's personal um, you want to you want to uh, you want your time to be well spent, but if you're a contractor, time is money, and so if we can be more convenient and yet we have uh, a variety, you know if you go in there and look for a, a nut or a bolt or something or a screw something small like that, you can pretty well find it. So sure. uh, we feel good about about the variety. Hardware, just like groceries, has been somewhat difficult for the past year and a half with supply chain is issues and all that. But we've done pretty well it, with hardware, with staying in stock. If it's not this brand, generally it's available. We, we can we can have it in something else. But those those problems go, continue today. Grocery, pet, hardware. <clears throat> all of it. Packaging is very difficult today. There's a lot of packaging issues because of the resin or whatever it might be. I know you've you've heard all about this, but we're still struggling with that. But I'm very proud 
of what our team has done, whatever concept it is in, our, our people have worked uh, very hard because the last year and a half, it's been about product and people. And, you know, with sickness or uh, uh, people being restricted, not being able to work, just keeping staffs in the stores, in the departments, and keeping product on the shelves, that's been been hard. What, what did your company learn um, after having to deal with this last year and a half? Gosh. Uh, just just how much uh, we appreciate our team being able to get done what we have gotten done. I mean, we've had to do all kinds of different things. We've had to source things in different areas that uh, when everything's working and everything's normal, um, <laughs> And then when it isn't is when you find out what you're made of. And, and I found out that our, that our team is, uh, is pretty darn special. And uh, I guess the one other uh, entity that uh, under the Neiman's umbrella would be the, uh, like you, you briefly mentioned, the pet supply stores. Mm -hmm. um, is that a brand that's also growing and you're seeing to look in more places? It is, yes. We opened, a, uh, just recently, we opened a store in Chatham, Illinois, and we've got another one <clears throat> in Wisconsin uh, this year. So we'll have another, and I believe that'll put us at 10 of those stores. We love that business. Again, it's, it's so much about the team in the store, the people that are there. Uh, the folks that we have in our pet stores, they love pets, they want to talk about pets, and generally they have a lot of unusual pets at home, and they, they just want to be around that, and when you can come in and, <clears throat> and talk about nutrition uh, for your cat or your dog, or sometimes uh, there's a lot of unusual pets too, and during the pandemic, um, people were really interested in pet projects, so they'd come in and they'd buy a, a bird or a, or a snake. We don't sell cats and dogs. We help with adoption on sure. cats and dogs, but we do the, some of the smaller pets that fish. We sell those in those stores, and a lot of people when they'd been at home for so long, they wanted a project, so they, they did it by, by either adopting a cat or a dog or, or, or deciding to get into fish or that sort of thing. As you look to expand your new Harvest Market brand and, of course, County Market and Ace and Pet Supplies Plus, what is the key factor when you look at, okay, we're going to either add another store in this market or we're going to go to this new market? What are the factors that go into that? Well, we, we, you always look for need because if there's need, you can do it and be successful at it. If there's not, it's like pushing a rope. So uh, we look for need, and that's why when we have so many different things that we do, and, I, and I'm proud that our team is able to manage that, we also have an, a new uh, concept called Perk Coffee. It's called Perk Coffee Company. We've been working on this for over a year. It's our development. Our team developed it. We opened our first one in Macomb attached to a Haymakers uh, recently. We have a new grounds up unit uh, going to go up uh, as soon as the weather is appropriate in, and that will also be in Illinois. Um, but that's a, that's a great new concept. But once again, it's where's the need and, and so if we can fulfill a need in a market, we can be successful. And we're, we're out there every day trying to be successful for our associate owners. That's what's important to us. So we, we, try, to, we try to do the right thing as, as, as much as we can. Well, Rich Neiman Jr., it's been a pleasure. Thank you for your time. I've enjoyed it. Thank you. That's all we have now for our uh, Business Spotlight, brought to you by K. Snuff and Schleter Insurance. I'm Bob Goff. Have a great week. Representing nearly 20 A-rated insurance providers, Case and & Huff and & Schleter caters to most any type of insurance. Business, farm, home, auto & health, for nearly 100 years, their team of experienced professionals is second to none in providing coverage for your insurance needs. Case and & Huff and & Schleter will find the most cost-effective solution to your business challenges, and with their experienced agents, they know how to navigate the insurance markets. 100 years, an agency built on service, no matter what side of the river you call home. Give them a call today or find them on Facebook. Case and Huff and Schleter, peace of mind since 1923.